always been lucky when it's come to travel. For starters, my parents were two ex hippies, so when I was a kid, family trips would consist of backpacking through Europe or running through the Amazon or building houses in Dominican. My first solo trip was when I was 19, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, I went with my girlfriend and we went around Europe. We started off in France because I had a friend there, and then we went down to Switzerland, which is usually crazy expensive, but it turned out to be okay because we had a friend there. After that, we got this crazy deal. We got to take a cruise ship from Italy down to Greece, and the whole thing cost only seven euros. Uh, after that, we had crazy insane adventures up Eastern Europe. We befriended a toothless shepherd in Bulgaria. We ended up in Scotland where we nearly froze our butts off in the Highlands. And then we had time for England, Belgium, and then we just missed a bar fight when we were heading out of Ireland. You know, the whole thing was pretty fun, uh, and it was super. we were super nervous at first. It was our first big trip, but thankfully we had friends along the way, so the whole thing turned out really well in the end. The same year I was accepted to do an exchange in Australia which was crazy awesome and during spring break I headed down to Tasmania to try and collect the bounty on a supposedly extinct animal called the Tasmanian tiger. I ended up getting stranded in a hailstorm and things really would have gone poorly but luckily I had a friend down there. I hitchhiked around the whole country of Australia and I got a chance to see the crazy birds in the mountains of New Zealand but to be honest the whole thing would not have been possible if it weren't for all the friends I had down under. I enjoyed hitchhiking down under so much that the next summer my best friend and I we hitchhiked across Canada and the whole way we stayed with some awesome people and some awesome friends. Then last summer we went to Japan and we got stuck on Mount Fuji during a typhoon. Luckily we had some friends over there who helped us out and rescued us and then took us for conveyor belt sushi in Tokyo. Then we stopped over in Vietnam and learned how to dodge traffic like pros, after which we somehow ended up in rural Laos. We had a good friend there who taught us how to relax and in return we actually taught English at his school. It was really fun. So after that we temple hopped in Cambodia for a bit and then we rode boats in Thailand and then we were invited into the kingdom of Bhutan by a princess. We had a good friend there so we just spent two weeks exploring the Himalayas together. Before heading home we stopped at Nepal and India and those are crazy countries. To be honest I would have been overwhelmed if it weren't for the friends I had who could show me around. I don't know what I've done to deserve all these travel experiences, but what I do know is that it wouldn't be possible if I didn't have all these friends along the way. So know that if you're ever in Montreal, you'll have a friend here.